guys, Running Kimono. So this is the Walgreens preview for the week of May the 24th to the 30th of 2020. It is Memorial Day this weekend, so happy Memorial Day in advance. Lots of great uh, items for a cookout and other great items in this flyer. Now, for many of you who are very curious about Pumpkin, what has he been up to? Well, the stay-at-home orders in Michigan, where I live specifically in the north, have been lifted, so he's able to go out and do whatever he wants. However, he's been doing whatever he wants for the last many weeks, as many of you know, and he was smoking on the couch yesterday. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, he said he would consider quitting smoking if uh, there was at least... 300 thumbs up on this video, but he said he was going to be, you know, still trouble this weekend because it's a long weekend and he has nothing to do. So that being said, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would be most appreciated. Okay, guys. So as I stated, uh, the stay at home orders where I'm living have been lifted. Um, and I know that for the rest of the state, maybe it's going to be later in the month or they're going to get, uh, lifted, but I can't stress it enough. Uh, there still isn't a cure for this, uh, COVID-19 so be really safe out there. Um, even though the restrictions are lifted here, I'm not going to a restaurant unless I'm driving by in my car. Um, cafes, uh, bars, even church. Like I, I can't go right now. Um, they usually have a big yard sale weekend. A lot of people have, you know, I'd like to pop in, pop out, say hi to everybody. Um, not doing it this year. And uh, it's just because it's not a smart thing to do. And I'm still going to really augment how much shopping I do, where it's probably going to be maybe like twice Walgreens, maybe um, once at Walmart and then once at Dollar General. So four different times I will take trips, but I will just keep it to a bare minimum. I'm not going to be in there every day doing stuff and photos um, just because I don't think it's safe at this time. And maybe I'm being extra paranoid. Uh, maybe not, but I uh, can't stress it enough. Social distance, wear a mask, be smart out there, guys. Um, your health is number one. Okay, guys, so a lot of you have been getting these weird percentage off coupons. And uh, if you go into your household, beauty, and I think the other one is, is like child or baby. These have been popping up or it might be at the top of your coupons folder. So these are very, very unique because um, the start date was April the 1st and the end date as I think the end of June or something like that. I did, however, try to use one of these online this morning and it's not working. So um, we're just going to have to play this one by ear. Uh, if you guys want me to explain uh, every uh, greasy detail of this, I don't know because this is a new one and there's still the coupon code 3903 on it. So I'm not sure if this is an error or what. It doesn't disclude sale items or like if there's a sale uh, item that goes for the week. But as you can see, it's from May the 1st to the 30th. And then it says it's from April the 1st to the 30th. I think somebody didn't program it correctly. And I tried to do it online today. As you can see, I have a little bottle here of mouthwash and my 20% or 10% coupon did not come off. So meh, there we have it. We're just going to have to keep an eye on this one and see how it works or not. I would definitely do this with a smaller basket uh, that doesn't have a sort of like a booster like Spend 20, get 5,000, because if you're trying to use the two together, they might stack. But what might happen is um, the percentage off will drop your basket lower than $20. Uh, so you're really going to have to pay attention. Um, and if you were going to do a deal like the Listerine one, that's a month long, spend 10, get 5,000. You got to get right to that $10. So if you have 10 or 20% off, it might skew the numbers. So you're really going to have to pay attention. And on Sunday morning, when I get more information, I will share it with you guys at that point. Um, but just be really careful about it. And again, if you might have one of these, because I know a lot of accounts got them, um, we're just going to run through how this one would work. Um, you would have to buy $20 of merchandise uh, from the 24th to the 30th and um, pay cash for the balance. You can't use any Walgreens coupons, but you can use uh, manufacturers for this. And if you're off by one cent, you're not going to get the points. So if you have the percentage off in this one loaded, I would do a smaller deal to use the percentage off first and then secondly to use this one. So you really have to be paying super duper attention in the store because this is quite the curveball because if you're not paying attention, something might not work. Um, so I thought it would be kind of uh, neat to show you two different examples. So this first one is using a 5,000 when you spend 20. So I know this is kind of a leap and uh, a jump to say, hey, get one bounty, one Charmin. 
But if you can swing it, maybe your store might have it. Alternatively, you can grab the Gain Fling and a Gain um, Detergent. And I know they have dollar coupons for that. So if you were smart enough to load all of your coupons um, earlier in the month, there were dollar coupons for both the Bounty and the Charmin. And here they are. They're valid till the 30th, which is the Saturday. And then, of course, we need this old soldier loaded to our store card, and this is also of a one-time use. So grabbing one Charmin and one Bounty, that is $19.98. They're $9.99 a piece. And then also grab a candy at checkout for $0.57. Cents. So your total is $20.55. Um, you have that booster loaded to your store card, along with $2 digitals for the Bounty and the Charmin, subtracting $2 right there. Your new total is $18.55. You have to pay cash for the balance, and then you're going to get back a $4 register reward for buying two of those paper products plus 5,000 points for the booster. So we're looking at $9.55 for the two or $4.77 each. That is kind of like expensive. So if I would have a register reward to toss in, that is probably the way to go. And uh, looking at it with the 20% off, this is where it gets really interesting. So um, you would have to have this guy loaded to your store card. And um, looking at the math again, we're grabbing one Charmin, one Bounty for $19.98. I don't need a filler because I don't have to get to a certain price point as per the verbiage of that booster. Subtracting $2 coupons and then 20%, which is $3.59. The new total is $14.39. Right here, I would use $10 in points and pay $4.39 out of pocket. Get back my $4 register reward. Hey, you know, 39 cents for the two paper products. I think this is the smartest use. Yes, you are losing uh, $10 in points, but I don't think this is the worst thing, especially a lot of us have depleted our paper products with the last two and a half months. So um, just something to throw out there. And this is a deal that I'm going to try to do because I have that percentage off. So I think it might be a smart move to do. Now, this is kind of interesting, $2.99 for Crest products and then a $2 register reward when you buy two. Now, if you remember last weekend, there have been a ton of very high valuable uh, Crest coupons that have been showing up, but we have a three off of two. As you can see, it expires on the Saturday. So if you have not used it, here's a quick little deal for you. Grabbing two of those toothpaste, that's $5.98. Subtracting that three off of two digital coupon, you're left with paying $2.98 out of pocket, getting back a $2 register reward, 98 cents for the two or 49 cents each. Now, there might be a double dip on this. And what a double dip means is two promotions on one item, the register reward plus 4,000 points. If you remember, certain items in the Crest family in the last month have been tagged for $2.99. And if this is kicking out the register reward, you will get both a $2 register reward plus 4,000 points. So first thing on Sunday morning, you're gonna have to look for these tags and see if they're double tagged with the register reward um, write up and this. And if they are, hey, that's uh, a really great deal to get uh, that double dip going. So um, just uh, keep an eye out on this because this might be a really, really great deal on Sunday morning. Now the Olay Old Spice Body Wash, they are two for 12 and a $4 register reward when you buy two. Now, if you remember, um, I believe it was a couple weeks back, we received some high value manufacturer coupons. So hopefully you have these guys loaded, which is a four off a two for the ladies and a four off a two for the men. If you want to do um, both of these, you're going to have to do it in two separate transactions as well. So the first transaction, let's grab two of the ladies Olay for $12, subtracting that four off a two digital. You're left with paying eight out of pocket, getting back your $4 register reward. The final price point here is $4 for two or $2 per box body wash. If you wish to use points to pay down your balance, absolutely go for it. However, one register reward per transaction. So if you were going to do Old Spice and Olay, two separate transactions to get the two $4 register rewards. Okay, this next little dealio, buy three, get one for free, and the items are priced at $4.99 a piece. So we have Tide, we have Downy, we have Bounce, we have the um, Unstoppables, a whole host of items. Earlier in the month when the May P&G coupon showed up, hopefully you loaded all of them um, and you had that presence of mind to do that. We have this $2 for the liquid and then a $2 for the pod. Also in the May PNG, there are $2 coupons for both of these products. So guys, here's a deal. Grab three Tides. So um, a liquid, a pod, and then another one, whichever one you want. And then one bounce product. It's on a buy two, get one for free. So that's $14.97. 
Um, subtracting $4 of digital manufacturers to $2 for the Tide plus one paper one from the um, May PNG, you're left with paying $8.97 out of pocket. If you have a percentage off, that would be even better. And, and if you wish to pay this down with points, absolutely go for it because that would be a really smart thing to do. And if a certain um, bounce dryer sheet is included, I don't believe we have manufacturers for it. But there is a dollar rebate on Checkout 51 for this. So just giving you a quick peek of what it looks like. It's called the Wrinkle Guard. Now, I haven't been, um, you know, tap dancing through the laundry aisle a lot um, at Walgreens. So um, I you'd have to see if it's there or not. I know they sell this product at both Dollar General and uh, Walmart. But possibly this could be even a bigger money maker for us. Okay, guys, now we have a little deal with the Maybelline. Buy two, get back a $5 registry reward. As you can see, it says Maybelline Cosmetics, so it's not specific to anything. So if you were so lucky, guys, a couple weeks back, a lot of us received this 10 off a of two um, manufacturer coupon. We're going to be grabbing two $3 eyeshadows because they're attaching to it. So grabbing two of those shadows at $7.80, subtracting that 10 off of two digital, it'll reduce down right to $7.80. There is no overage with coupons uh, at Walgreens. So you're going to pay just the tax for this and get back a $5 register reward, making it free plus a $5 money maker. So if you've been hanging on to that one for a while, this is definitely the week to use it. Okay, so we have another uh, cosmetic deal with the L'Oreal. Um, as you can see, the lip and eye is buy one, get one 50% off. And if you were so lucky, um, we had this 10 off of two that showed up a couple weeks back. So definitely it's the week to use it. And the IVC, this is the last week. This is valid, which is the Walgreens coupon, and it's a four off of two. So how wonderful is that? Okay, guys, let's look at the math to this one really quick. Uh, grabbing two of these L'Oreal Voluminous on a buy one, get one 50% off, that's $13.48. Subtracting the 10 off of two manufacturer and the four off of two IVC from the May book, Big Book of Savings, it'll reduce down right to three forty eight. dollars So you're basically going to pay tax for this and get some, um, you know, free mascara. Uh, again, no overage with that IVC, so it'll get reduced down to three forty-eight. dollars um, Okay, so moving it along, guys, um, the St. Ives Body Wash. If you have not tried this, it's very nice body wash, and it's on a buy one, get one 50% off promotion. And it's really cheap. It's like $3.99 for one body wash, a dollar uh, reward when you buy two as well. So looking at this, guys, um, they are $3.99 on the nose. I did try that sea salt kelp one uh, before all the uh, madness of uh, stay-at-home orders happened, and I've really been enjoying it in the lockdown. It's just a really nice uh, body wash. So looking at the math for this one, guys, grab two of them for $5.98 on a buy one, get one 50% off. Um, and then you're going to get back um, 1,000 points. Pay the balance for that uh, out of pocket um, because if you have it in your Fetch Rewards app, there's an eight times booster when you buy St. Ives, so you'll get an extra 50 cents back. So the final price point here would be 448 for the two or 224 for each of them. And if you're not familiar about what I'm talking about, if you go to the Discoveries page of the Fetch Rewards app, here it is, eight times the points, and it's valid till the 31st. So um, working with that week, you'll get eight times your points. Now let's talk about some cool honorable mentions. Uh, the first one that we're talking about is the Tresemme. I'm wondering on Sunday morning what the digital coupons for this product will be. Will there be some great ones? Because if there's some valuable ones that they toss our way, possibly we can make a deal happen with this. Okay, guys. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is the Soleil Skin Cream for uh, $6.49. There's a $4 coupon and I believe it's valid till the 30th. So it would drop this down to $2.49. It has to be this exact one. And I know a lot of these boxes look identical. So you're really going to have to use the um, Walgreens app and scan um, because this is the one to get. I'm not going to give the breakdown for this again, but it's like really inexpensive Listerine. I've been talking about it all month. If you want to watch my video from last week, I have it down to the penny in a matchup, but you would grab a large one and a small one and get 5,000 when you spend um, 10. You have to pay cash for the balance, of course. And with this site, um, it's called listerine.com slash ace your checkup. You get a $5 virtual gift card uh, when you buy one of the liter size of the Listerine mouthwash. And then these buy drinks, uh, they are 
two for 350 um, if you like this sort of a drink. What's interesting about this is Ibotta has either a quarter or a free item rebate. So depending what your store might have in stock, this might be a really good deal for you. And as you can see, Ibotta has a $1.99 back for the um, Buy Zambia Bing Cherry 13 ouncer. So this bottle, um, my store didn't sell that one. And then this um, selected one 18 ounce a quarter back. Obviously the free one's better, but hey, you might want to see what they have at your store. And then a buy one, get one free on trash bags and a buy one, get one free on the plates. As you know, it's Memorial Day weekend. So these are the just the typical things that you see really cheap at your store. And going back to the cover of the flyer, lots of stuff for a cookout, um, really inexpensive price, $3.99 for ice cream. That soda did jump. I remember I was talking about that a couple weeks back. Um, so something that would be $7.99 is now $9.99. So it's all jumped about a dollar to two dollars for those 12 packs. And the Doritos are two for four. So two dollars a pop. Um, you might want to use some points if you want to load up on some chips for your cookout. And we have a buy one, get one free on different condiments, pickles and beans, a two for eight on the bacon. That's a really good price point. And $3.49 for the mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. I might have to grab one of those because my husband has been going through like a thing of mayo every other week um, since we've been in lockdown. Hopefully that ends today. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.